The first trading week of the new year started with a news showing signs of China's sustained economic recovery, which could boost risk appetite. <music> China's Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index unexpectedly rose to 50.8 points. The reading beat analysts forecast and came in at its highest point since August, signaling a potential rebound in the global economy and increased energy demand from China, the world's largest oil importer. Thus, Brand crude has kicked off the new year with gains. The benchmark has already climbed to $79 per bottle and is likely to extend its rally to the $80 mark. In addition to upbeat macroeconomic data, oil prices are being supported by heightened geopolitical tensions in the Middle East. Over the weekend, the U.S. Navy destroyed three Houthi birds, killing the crews who attempted to board a container ship in the Red Sea. The Iranian news agency, which um, has close ties to the country's security agencies, also reported on Monday that Iran uh, deployed a destroyer to the Red Sea and placed it within striking distance of Israel. However, there is a something that could limit the assets bullish run. Investors are concerned about rising global supply, especially from non-OPEC producers. For instance, U.S. crude production jumped to a record high of 13.3 million barrels per day in August. Guyana and Brazil also produced record volumes. Gold also started the new year on a positive note. The precious metal surpassed the $2,070 per three ounce, and on expectations that the U.S. central bank will begin cutting rates as early as a notch. After all, in case of lower interest rates, yields on the U.S. government bonds will fall. That's why investors are fleeing those safe haven assets, most notably gold. Speaking of the ruble, the Russian market is closed to the trading until tomorrow. Many analysts are confident that the dollar-ruble pair will reverse and presume its decline to the level of 90 rubles per dollar. The news is that the central bank plans to sell 800 million rubles uh, a day from January 2024 is likely to support the Russian currency. And that's all for now. We continue to follow developments in the financial markets. Subscribe to the channel and follow news with us. See you soon.